classification, the red panda, Allurus fulgens, is often considered a living fossil and is the sole member of its own family, Iluridae. It was once thought to be related to raccoons or bears, but is now classified in its own distinct family. Himalayan habitat. Red pandas are found in the Himalayas and surrounding mountain ranges, including parts of Nepal, India, Bhutan, China, and Myanmar. They inhabit temperate forests with bamboo understory. Size and appearance. Red pandas are small mammals, about the size of a house cat. They have distinctive rust-colored fur on their backs and sides, white fur on their underbellies, and a bushy ringed tail. Adapted diet, red pandas are primarily herbivores, with a diet that consists mainly of bamboo leaves and shoots. However, they may also consume fruits, berries, insects, and small rodents. Tree dwellers, red pandas are excellent climbers and spend a significant amount of time in trees. Their semi-retractable claws and specialized wrist bones make them agile climbers. Nocturnal habits, red pandas are mostly active during the night, nocturnal, and rest during the day in trees or other hidden spots to avoid predators. Solitary animals. Red pandas are typically solitary creatures, except during the breeding season and when females are caring for their cubs. Scent marking. Red pandas have scent glands located near their anus, which they use to mark their territory. They rub these scent glands against surfaces to leave their scent. Conservation status. Red pandas are classified as vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, due to habitat loss, poaching, and the illegal pet trade. Conservation efforts are in place to protect their populations. Slow reproduction. Red pandas have a slow reproductive rate. They usually give birth to one to four cubs, with the average being two. Cubs are born blind and helpless and stay with their mother for several months. Threats. Habitat destruction due to deforestation, human encroachment, and climate change are some of the major threats to red panda populations. They are also hunted for their fur and body parts. Cultural significance. Red pandas hold cultural significance in some Asian cultures and are often associated with local folklore and myths. Nocturnal adaptations. Red pandas have large round pupils that help them see better in low light conditions, enhancing their night vision. Bushy tail. The thick bushy tail of the red panda helps them balance while navigating trees and branches. Alurin. Red pandas were once believed to be closely related to bears due to their appearance. In fact, their scientific name, Ailurus fulgens, means shining cat, emphasizing their distinct classification. The red panda's unique appearance, behaviors, and habitat make it a captivating and important species in the world of conservation and biodiversity. <laughs> Small mammals. Pikas are small herbivorous mammals belonging to the family Ocotonidae. They are closely related to rabbits and hares. Mountain dwellers. Pikas are primarily found in mountainous regions across North America, Asia, and parts of Europe. They inhabit rocky slopes, alpine meadows, and talus fields. Diurnal lifestyle. Pikas are diurnal, meaning they are active during the daytime. They often engage in activities like foraging, grooming, and sunbathing. Distinctive appearance. Pikas have round bodies, short limbs, and no visible tail. Their fur is typically grayish-brown or reddish-brown, providing camouflage in their rocky habitats. Haying behavior. One of the distinctive behaviors of pikas is haying. During the warmer months, they gather and dry vegetation, such as grasses and herbs, which they store in rock crevices or caves. This stored hay serves as food during the winter months when fresh vegetation is scarce. Temperature sensitivity. Pikas are sensitive to high temperatures and are adapted to cooler alpine environments. They may be susceptible to the impacts of climate change as rising temperatures can restrict their habitat range. Communication. Pikas communicate using a variety of vocalizations, including high-pitched calls. These calls help them establish territory boundaries and warn of potential predators. Herbivorous diet. Pikas are strict herbivores, mainly feeding on grasses, herbs, and other alpine vegetation. Their diet varies with the seasons and availability of plant species. Social behavior. 
Pikas are generally solitary animals, but they may live in loose colonies. They establish territories and defend them through vocalizations and sometimes physical interactions. Reproduction Pikas have a relatively short breeding season due to their alpine habitat. They give birth to litters of usually two to six offspring, known as kits or pups. Camouflaged homes. Pikas create burrows and tunnels within rocky areas, which offer protection from predators and harsh weather conditions. Predators. Pikas are preyed upon by a variety of predators, including birds of prey, weasels, and larger mammals like foxes and coyotes. Conservation concerns. Some pika species are considered vulnerable or threatened due to habitat loss, climate change, and potential disruptions to their alpine ecosystems. Role in ecosystem. Pikas play an important role in their ecosystem as herbivores, contributing to plant dispersal and nutrient cycling. Cultural significance. Pikas have cultural significance in some regions and are featured in local folklore and stories. Pikas' unique behaviors and adaptations to mountain environments make them important subjects of study for understanding the impacts of climate change on alpine ecosystems and the broader implications for biodiversity. <laughs> marsupial mammals. Koalas are marsupials, which means they give birth to relatively undeveloped young that continue to develop and nurse in a pouch. They are native to Australia. Eucalyptus specialists. Koalas have a specialized diet consisting almost exclusively of eucalyptus leaves. They are adapted to digest the tough and toxic compounds found in these leaves. Habitat and range. Koalas are found in various habitats across eastern and southeastern Australia, including eucalyptus forests and woodlands. Arboreal lifestyle. Koalas are primarily arboreal, spending most of their time in trees. Their large, sharp claws and opposable thumbs help them grip onto branches. Sleeping habits. Koalas are known for sleeping a large portion of the day, often up to 18 to 20 hours. Their low-energy diet of eucalyptus leaves contributes to their need for extended rest. Scent marking. Koalas have scent glands located on their chest that they use to mark their territory. They rub their chest against trees to leave their scent behind. Unique vocalizations. Koalas communicate using a variety of vocalizations, including bellows and grunts. These calls are used for mating, territory defense, and social interactions. Slow metabolism. Koalas have a slow metabolic rate, which helps them conserve energy due to their low-calorie diet. Reproduction. Female koalas have a pouch in which they raise their young called joeys. After birth, a joey spends several months developing and nursing inside the pouch before gradually transitioning to riding on its mother's back. Threats Koalas face various threats including habitat loss due to urbanization, land clearing and bushfires. They are also vulnerable to diseases such as chlamydia, which can lead to infertility and other health issues. Conservation efforts. Koalas are listed as vulnerable to extinction in some regions. Conservation organizations and government initiatives are working to protect and restore koala habitats. Cultural icon. Koalas are a beloved symbol of Australia and are often associated with the country's unique wildlife. Fingerprints. Koalas have unique fingerprints similar to humans, which has led to studies using koala prints to better understand their population dynamics. Diverse eucalyptus diet. Despite their specialized diet, koalas consume a variety of eucalyptus species, each with its own nutritional profile. Efficient water consumption. Koalas obtain most of their water intake from eucalyptus leaves and they have developed adaptations to conserve water. Koalas are not only iconic, but also play an essential role in their ecosystem by contributing to eucalyptus tree growth through seed dispersal and nutrient cycling. Conservation efforts are crucial to ensuring the survival of these unique marsupials in their native habitats. <laughs> Miniature size, pygmy goats, Capra aegagrus hercus, are a small breed of domestic goats known for their diminutive size. They are considered a miniature or dwarf breed. Origin, 
Pygmy goats are believed to have originated in West Africa, particularly in Cameroon. They were introduced to other parts of the world as pets and for exhibition. Pet and Companion Animals Pygmy goats are popular as pets and companion animals due to their small size, friendly nature and playful behavior. Size and Appearance Adult pygmy goats typically stand around 16 to 23 inches tall at the withers, shoulder, and weigh between 50 to 75 pounds. They have a stocky build and come in a variety of coat colors and patterns. Dual purpose. While primarily kept as pets, pygmy goats are sometimes used for milk production on a small scale. Their milk is high in butterfat content, making it suitable for making cheese and other dairy products, friendly and social. Pygmy goats are known for their friendly and social personalities. They often enjoy interacting with humans and other animals, including other goats. Playful behavior. These goats are playful and curious by nature, often engaging in activities such as climbing, jumping, and exploring their environment. Feeding habits. Pygmy goats are herbivores and primarily feed on a diet of hay, grass, shrubs, and plants. Providing them with a balanced and appropriate diet is important for their health. Low maintenance. Compared to larger goat breeds, pygmy goats require less space and feed. However, they still require proper care, including shelter, regular veterinary care, and appropriate nutrition. Reproduction. Pygmy goats reach sexual maturity at a young age, often around four to five months old. They can have multiple kids in a single pregnancy, typically giving birth to twins or triplets. Lifespan. With proper care, pygmy goats can live up to 10 to 15 years or even longer. Grooming. Pygmy goats have a coat that requires minimal grooming. However, regular checks for parasites and proper hoof care are important to maintain their overall well-being. Urban and rural settings. Due to their small size, pygmy goats can be kept in a variety of settings, including suburban backyards, small farms, and rural properties. Natural climbers. Pygmy goats are agile climbers and enjoy exploring elevated areas. Providing structures for them to climb on can be both entertaining and enriching for them. Legal considerations. Before getting a pygmy goat as a pet, it's important to check local regulations and zoning laws, as some areas have restrictions on owning livestock in residential neighborhoods. Pygmy goats are delightful and charming animals that bring joy to many people's lives as pets or small-scale dairy animals. Proper care and attention are essential to ensure their well-being and happiness. <laughs> Nocturnal creatures. Hedgehogs are nocturnal animals, which means they are most active during the night and rest during the day. They have excellent night vision and a keen sense of smell to navigate in the dark. Unique defense mechanism. Hedgehogs are known for their distinctive defense mechanism. When threatened, they curl into a tight ball by rolling their body into a spiky ball. This exposes their sharp spines, deterring predators from attacking. Hibernation. Hedgehogs are known to hibernate during the colder months, typically from late fall to early spring. They find a sheltered spot and enter a state of reduced activity and metabolism to conserve energy. Insectivorous diet. Hedgehogs are insectivores, meaning their primary diet consists of insects, worms, and other small invertebrates. They use their strong sense of smell to locate food. Adaptable eaters. While insects are their main diet, Hedgehogs have been known to consume a variety of other foods, including fruits, vegetables, and even small vertebrates. Sharp spines. Hedgehogs have between 5,000 to 7,000 spines covering their backs. These spines are made of keratin, the same material as human hair and nails. Slow reproduction. Hedgehogs have a relatively slow reproductive rate. Female hedgehogs usually give birth to a litter of three to four hoglets, and the mother is solely responsible for their care. Home range. Hedgehogs have a wide home range, and they can travel several miles in a night in search of food and suitable habitat. Climbing abilities. Hedgehogs are surprisingly good climbers, and they can easily scale fences, walls, and obstacles in their search for food. Gardener's friends. Hedgehogs are considered beneficial animals in gardens and yards because they help control pest populations by feeding on insects and other garden pests. 
Global distribution. Hedgehogs are found in various parts of the world, including Europe, Asia, Africa, and New Zealand. Different species of hedgehogs inhabit different regions. Urban adaptation. Some species of hedgehogs have adapted to urban environments and can be found in parks, gardens, and even city streets. Communication. Hedgehogs communicate using a variety of vocalizations, including grunts, snuffles, and snorts, which help them communicate with each other. Longevity. In the wild, hedgehogs typically have a lifespan of two to five years, while those in captivity can live longer, up to seven years or more. Conservation status. Some species of hedgehogs are facing population declines due to habitat loss, road accidents, and other factors. Conservation efforts are being made to protect and preserve these charming creatures. Hedgehogs are unique and fascinating animals that play an important role in maintaining the balance of ecosystems by controlling insect populations. Their distinctive appearance and behaviors make them a favorite among nature enthusiasts and wildlife admirers. <laughs> Desert dweller, the fennec fox, Vulpes zerda, is a small fox species native to the Sahara Desert and other arid regions of North Africa. It is well adapted to the harsh desert environment. Tiny size, fennec foxes are known for their small size. They are the smallest species of fox, with a body length of about 9 to 16 inches, excluding the tail, and weighing between 2 to 3.5 pounds. Distinctive ears, one of the most notable features of the fennec fox is its large ears, which can be as long as six inches. These ears serve as a way to dissipate heat and provide excellent hearing for detecting prey and predators. Nocturnal habits. Fennec foxes are primarily nocturnal, which means they are most active during the night. Their large ears help them hear the movements of insects and small animals in the dark. Adapted to extreme temperatures. The fennec fox has several adaptations that help it survive in extreme desert temperatures. These include specialized kidney functions that allow them to conserve water and tolerate high temperatures. Diet. Fennec foxes are omnivores, feeding on a variety of foods including insects, rodents, small mammals, fruits and vegetation. Social animals. Fennec foxes are generally social animals and are known to live in small family groups or colonies. They communicate using a variety of vocalizations, including barks and whines. Burrowing behavior. Fennec foxes are skilled diggers and often create elaborate underground burrows for shelter and protection from the heat. These burrows can have multiple entrances and chambers. Predators. Fennec foxes have a few natural predators in their desert habitat, including larger mammals and birds of prey. They rely on their keen senses and quick movements to evade danger. Reproduction. Female fennec foxes give birth to litters of two to five kits, young, after a gestation period of around 50 to 52 days. Domestication. Fennec foxes are sometimes kept as exotic pets, although their suitability as pets can vary. It's important to research and understand their unique needs and requirements before considering them as pets. Conservation status. Fennec fox populations in the wild are generally stable, but they can be threatened by habitat loss due to urbanization and other human activities. Cultural significance. Fennec foxes are a symbol of resilience and adaptation to harsh desert conditions. They are also occasionally featured in North African folklore and cultural stories. Tourist attraction. Fennec foxes are sometimes featured in desert tourism activities, allowing visitors to observe and learn about these unique creatures in their natural habitat. Fennec foxes are captivating animals with their unique appearance and adaptations for desert life. Their ability to survive in extreme environments serves as a testament to the diversity and adaptability of life on our planet. <laughs> Small size, dwarf hamsters are among the tiniest and most popular pet hamster species. They typically measure around 2 to 4 inches, 5 to 10 centimeters, in length. Variety of species, 
There are several species of dwarf hamsters commonly kept as pets, including Campbell's dwarf hamsters, winter white Russian dwarf hamsters, Roborovsky dwarf hamsters, and Chinese dwarf hamsters. Social behavior. While dwarf hamsters are generally solitary animals in the wild, some species, like the Roborovsky dwarf hamsters, are more social and can be housed in pairs or small groups if introduced early. Nocturnal. Like many small rodents, dwarf hamsters are nocturnal, which means they are most active during the night. This is when they explore, forage and play. Cheek pouches. Dwarf hamsters have large cheek pouches that extend from their mouth to their shoulders. They use these pouches to carry food back to their nests. Burrowing nature. In the wild, dwarf hamsters live in burrows to escape predators and regulate their body temperature. As pets, they enjoy tunnels, tubes and other hiding spots. Lifespan. The average lifespan of dwarf hamsters is around 1.5 to 3 years, depending on factors such as genetics and care. Diet. Dwarf hamsters are omnivores, which means they eat a variety of foods including seeds, grains, fruits, vegetables and insects. A balanced and varied diet is important for their health. Fast runners, Roborovsky dwarf hamsters in particular, are known for their incredible speed and agility. They can run on their exercise wheels at an impressive pace. Nesting and care, dwarf hamsters build nests using bedding materials provided in their enclosure. Pregnant female hamsters also create nests to give birth and raise their young. Chewing instinct, like other rodents, dwarf hamsters have a natural urge to chew to keep their teeth from overgrowing. Providing safe chew toys is important for dental health. Playful personalities. Dwarf hamsters can have distinct personalities, with some being more curious and adventurous, while others may be shy and reserved. Color varieties. Different species of dwarf hamsters come in various coat colors and patterns, adding to their charm and appeal as pets. Grooming habits. Dwarf hamsters groom themselves by using their front paws and teeth to clean their fur. They may also take sand baths to keep their coats clean. Habitat. Dwarf hamsters need appropriate enclosures with bedding, hideouts, tunnels, an exercise wheel and a water source. Providing a stimulating environment is essential for their well-being. Dwarf hamsters are popular pets due to their small size, interesting behaviors and relatively low maintenance. As with any pet, it's important to understand their needs, provide proper care, and handle them gently to ensure their well-being and happiness. Nocturnal creatures. Slow lorises are nocturnal primates, meaning they are most active during the night. They have evolved adaptations, such as large eyes and a keen sense of smell, to help them navigate in low-light conditions. Loriform locomotion. Slow lorises have a unique way of moving called loriform locomotion. They move slowly and deliberately, using a slow, deliberate crawling movement, often pausing between movements. Toxic bite. Slow lorises are known for having a toxic bite. They have specialized glands in their elbows that produce a toxic secretion, which they lick and mix with their saliva. When they bite, the venom is delivered to their target. This toxin can cause severe pain and even death in some cases. Solitary animals. Slow lorises are primarily solitary animals, although some species may have limited social interactions. They mark their territories with their scent and communicate through vocalizations. Diet. Slow lorises are omnivores, feeding on a variety of foods including insects, small vertebrates, fruits and gums. They have a specialized grooming claw that they use to extract gum and insects from trees. Unique hands. Slow lorises have a specialized adaptation called a toilet claw, which is used for grooming and scratching. This claw is usually found on the second digit of each hand. Endangered status. Many species of slow lorises are currently classified as threatened or endangered due to habitat loss, illegal pet trade, and the belief in traditional medicine that uses their body parts. Cute appearance. Slow lorises are known for their adorable appearance with large round eyes and a fluffy coat. This appearance has unfortunately led to their popularity in the illegal pet trade. Conservation efforts. 
Various organizations and conservationists are working to protect slow lorises through education, advocacy and efforts to combat illegal wildlife trade. Role in ecosystem, slow lorises play a role in their ecosystems by controlling insect populations and dispersing seeds through their diet and movement. Vocalizations, slow lorises use a range of vocalizations to communicate, including soft calls and warning cries. These vocalizations help them signal to others and establish their presence. Reproduction. Slow lorises typically give birth to a single offspring, called a joey. The mother carries the joey on her belly until it is old enough to venture on its own. Habitat. Slow lorises are found in various types of forests, including tropical rainforests, deciduous forests and bamboo forests across Southeast Asia. Protection mechanism. When threatened, slow lorises raise their arms and show their toxic glands as a warning signal to potential predators. Cultural beliefs. Slow lorises are sometimes captured and kept as pets, believed to bring good luck or have mystical properties. However, keeping slow lorises as pets is harmful to their well-being and contributes to their decline in the wild. It's important to note that slow lorises are wild animals and have complex needs that are difficult to meet in captivity. It's crucial to support their conservation and avoid contributing to the illegal pet trade by not purchasing or keeping them as pets. Small marsupials, sugar gliders, Petaurus breviceps are small marsupials native to Australia, New Guinea, and surrounding islands. They are known for their ability to glide through the air, aided by a membrane of skin called the patagium that stretches from their wrists to their ankles. Nocturnal creatures. Sugar gliders are nocturnal animals, meaning they are most active during the night. They have large round eyes adapted for low light conditions. Social animals. Sugar gliders are social animals and often live in groups called colonies. They communicate with each other using a variety of vocalizations, including chirps, barks and hisses. Glider adaptation. The sugar glider's patagium allows them to glide between trees in search of food and to escape predators. Gliding is an energy-efficient mode of travel and allows them to cover large distances. Diet. Sugar gliders are omnivores, which means they eat a combination of plant material, nectar, fruit, insects, and even small vertebrates. Their diet can vary depending on their habitat and availability of food. Grooming behavior. Sugar gliders are meticulous groomers and use their specialized tongue to clean their fur. They also groom each other as a social bonding behavior. Pouch reproduction. Female sugar gliders have a pouch, similar to kangaroos, where they carry and nurse their young, called joeys. After giving birth, the mother carries the tiny, undeveloped joeys in her pouch until they are ready to leave. Longevity. In the wild, sugar gliders have a lifespan of about 5 to 7 years, while those in captivity can live longer, up to 12 years with proper care. Bonding and handling. Sugar gliders can form strong bonds with their human caregivers if raised and handled properly from a young age. However, they have specific care requirements and are not suitable for everyone as pets. Special housing needs. Sugar gliders require spacious enclosures with vertical space for climbing and gliding. They are highly active animals that need mental and physical stimulation. Conservation status. While sugar gliders are not currently listed as endangered, habitat loss and the pet trade are threats to their populations. It's important to ensure that any sugar gliders kept as pets are obtained legally and responsibly. Pet ownership. Owning a sugar glider requires commitment and knowledge of their specialized care needs. It's important to research their care requirements thoroughly before considering them as pets. Lifespan in captivity. With proper care, sugar gliders kept as pets can live around 10 to 15 years. Glider pouch. Sugar gliders often create cozy nests using nesting materials in their enclosures. This nesting behavior is similar to their pouch use in the wild. Communication. Sugar gliders use scent marking and vocalizations to communicate with each other. Their sounds can range from soft purring to loud barking. 
Sugar gliders are captivating and unique animals known for their gliding abilities and sociable behavior. While they can make rewarding pets for dedicated owners, it's essential to fully understand their needs and requirements before deciding to bring one into your home. Native to Australia, Quokkas, Cetonyx bracurus, are small marsupials that are native to certain parts of Australia, particularly on Rottnest Island and a few other locations in Western Australia. Herbivorous diet, quokkas are herbivores, primarily feeding on a diet of plants, leaves, grasses and even fruits. Their diet is adapted to the vegetation available in their habitats. Nocturnal and crepuscular, quokkas are mainly nocturnal and crepuscular meaning they are most active during the night and at dawn or dusk. They rest and seek shade during the heat of the day. Marsupial mammals. Quokkas are marsupials, which means they carry and nurse their young in a pouch. Female quokkas have a backward opening pouch where they raise their joeys. Rottnest Island residents. Rottnest Island, off the coast of Western Australia, is known for its large quokka population. The island was named after the quokka by early Dutch explorers who mistook the animals for giant rats, hence ratanest or rat's nest. Friendly demeanor. Quokkas are often referred to as the world's happiest animal due to their seemingly smiling facial expressions. While their appearance may resemble a smile, it's important to remember that their facial expressions are a natural feature and not necessarily indicative of their emotions. Curious and fearless. Quokkas are known for their curiosity and lack of fear of humans. This behavior has led to their increasing popularity on social media as people post selfies and photos with them. Conservation status. Quokkas are classified as a vulnerable species, primarily due to habitat loss, predation by introduced species, and the impact of human activity. Conservation efforts are ongoing to protect their populations. Physical characteristics, quokka are small marsupials with round faces, short snouts and relatively large dark eyes. They have coarse fur that is usually brown-grey in colour. Limited range, quokkas are naturally found in a limited range of habitats, including coastal dunes, shrublands and forests in Western Australia. Their habitat preferences make them particularly vulnerable to environmental changes. Reproduction Female quokkas give birth to a single joey after a short gestation period of about 27 to 28 days. The joey remains in the mother's pouch for several months before emerging and riding on her back. Social behavior. Quokkas are social animals and can be found in small family groups. They may interact with each other by sniffing, grooming and playfully hopping around. Diurnal behavior. While primarily active during the night and at dawn or dusk, quokkas may exhibit diurnal behavior on occasion, especially in areas with fewer predators. Natural behavior. While quokkas' friendly behavior may seem inviting, it's important to remember that they are wild animals and should not be approached, fed or disturbed. Human interaction, especially with food, can lead to negative consequences for their health and natural behaviors. Unique adaptations. Quokkas have adapted to their specific habitat and lifestyle, showcasing behaviors and physical features that help them survive in their environment, including their ability to climb trees and hop on their hind legs. Quokkas are captivating creatures with unique behaviors and features that have captured the attention of people around the world. While their appearance may be endearing, it's essential to respect their natural behaviors and habitat and to support efforts to ensure their conservation and protection.